I mean, uh, I don't. I don't need to be lectured to about what I eat. Thank you very much. If I want to eat, uh, if I want to eat fried food, I'm going to eat fried food. And I love how the people who lecture us about eating, every time you turn around, they're at an ice cream place. Do you notice that with the Obamas? Oh, this week they're, at the, they're having the chocolate hurricane in New Orleans. When they're five seconds, they went to New Orleans. And the next week they're having, you know, the banana split or the this or that. I mean, it's always something. But you've got to love them. They, they, they have to do what they, 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 they only have so many weapons they can deploy. And today, Joe Biden, that's the joke, Joe Biden. <laughs> Everyone in the back, the joke is Joe Biden. Today. Today, Joe Biden said that if the Republicans win, I want you to listen very closely because you know Joe Biden, right? He always screws up everything. Like, he just can't keep his words, subject, verb, direct object, straight. <laughs> so Joe Biden said, if the Republicans win, hell is going to play. <laughs> is that what he said? Something like that, right? We tried... We were listening on our iPhone to see if we could actually hear the audio, but that's how they quoted it. Well, I think he meant, <laughs> I think he meant there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> but otherwise, hell is going to play. <laughs> I'm totally fine with either at this point, because it's better than life in the Obama administration. <laughs> you know what I say? You know what I say? <laughs> I say this. I say they're worried about Christine O'Donnell being a witch or not a witch. All I can say is the Democrats are good ones to talk about what's scary. All I know, all I know is if it's Halloween night and I open up the door and I expect some little cute kids in my neighborhood to be holding out their bags and they're wearing a Barbara Boxer and Nancy Pelosi mask, I'm running. I'll take Christine O'Donnell any day. Aren't I awful? That's horrible. Okay, here's the word. Enough of the jokes. Here's the word. In Illinois, in Delaware, in West Virginia, here's the news. If Republicans take those Senate seats, guess what? Each of those senators gets to be seated immediately because those are vacant Senate seats. And guess what that means for the lame duck session of Congress? It means that each of those Republicans, were they to get elected, get to vote. And they get to act as a check on the unbridled abuse of power in Washington, D.C., representing the people against the elites. It is time this happened. It is high time we, the people, began to say this. Remember what the Declaration of Independence said. Governments are instituted among men, and they derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, or to institute new government. Well, well, well. I'm here tonight, and I'm delighted on a beautiful Texas night to tell you, November 2nd, and 2012 is our time to institute a new government that is responsive to the people, that does not dismiss our wishes, that does not denigrate what it is to be an American, and that stands for the common sense basic principles that have made this country great. They do not have our consent today. They have lost our consent. They have abused our consent. We are not going to take it anymore. I love being here in Texas. Now, I want, to tell, I want to tell you guys why I'm here tonight and why I do what I do every day. Uh, I wrote the Obama Diaries to make you laugh and to make you think. I'm going to be back here on November 21st at the Cullen Theater, and I want everyone here. This whole thing is going to be sold out. The theater only holds like 1,200 people. But uh, I have cast the most amazing actors to play the Obamas in the first stage production of the Obama Diaries. And it's going to be here in Houston the Sunday before Thanksgiving. It's going to be awesome. I want to see you all here. But I'm, now I want to show you why I'm doing what I'm doing. Guys? Stand up. Come here.
these are my um, these are my kids. Uh oh, Maria's. All right, Maria's an honorary Texan. This is uh, Dimitri, and this is Maria. And uh, let me just tell you that I am uh, blessed to have them. I'm blessed to uh, have them as new Americans. In the last two years, uh, Maria became an American. Uh, how long ago, Maria? Like a year, two years ago, and Dimitri one year ago. Uh, Spanish, uh, Russian, and uh, true-blooded Americans. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, give a Texas eyes. Thank you and welcome for Laura Ingram.